Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode, we beat our first boss. I do want to say just before we get into the episode that the bug that we had last episode with the weird modded names seems to have been fixed. Luckily, um, the publishers of this game, I believe it's Red Hook they're called, uh, they, they published an update that fixed that issue, which is absolutely great for us. But yes, we took on, uh, I believe it was a Flagellant and a Succubus, so they are going to be some characters that we try and uh, try and get used to. I've heard that the Flagellant is very useful but also quite difficult to play and the Succubus I've got a bit of experience with myself and know that she can be really really fun. We got some great backstories so let's get into those now. Here we are in the Cursed Estate. In the end of the previous episode we went round and we made sure everyone was up to speed with their upgrades in terms of both armour and skills and um, I think we're going to start focusing upgrades on trying to get our experienced recruits level 2. That would be absolutely brilliant but that is going to take a little while. I know Mad Wagon needs some love as well. Getting this thing levelled up is actually really, really important. Even though we don't want to be buying too many trinkets, having the choice to buy one here and there is going to be really, really nice. Uh, but the main two focuses are going to be this here and these two here. It's going to take us a little while to get to these, I'm sure. Um, getting a hold of all of these portraits is going to take quite a few adventures that we made to go on. And I've been thinking that maybe I'll... Um, I'll do some of this on stream uh, and then upload it as a YouTube video. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do with that yet. But let's get into the backstories of our Succubus and our Flagellant. Here we are with our Succubus, Chasey Highstake. Now, I may be pronouncing that name wrong. I wasn't sure if it was Chasey or Chassis or any of those. Please do let me know. But this is, this is a, a name and a backstory by Unstable Strafe, and this actually comes from one of her D&D characters, which I really like the idea of. A very fitting story. Um, Chasey Highstack always had an affinity for the dramatic. Ever since she was a child, Chasey was whooping pe um, wooing people with her eccentric performances in Silver Tongue. She soon realised that people captivate captivated by her often tend to lower their guard. By exploiting those who enjoyed her performances, Chasey found herself with a small fortune. However, this wasn't enough. As her money grew, so did her greed, and soon Chasey took many others into her loyal following. This still wasn't enough. One night, she met a man in a dark carriage who offered extreme power in exchange for undying loyalty and an agreement to act as his agent of chaos. Should, her, should he call upon her. Chasey accepted and found herself in a pact with a figure who only called himself the Leech. Later that same night, Chasey took part in um, took part in her biggest feat yet, seducing a random attendant at one of her performances. When she took the man to bed, Chasey experimented with her newfound powers and learned of the pleasures of drinking blood. She looked for the carriage afterwards, only to find it gone. From that day forward, she would seduce countless men, only to drain them of their blood in the dark of night. Outwardly, Chasey is an eccentric, travelling performer, but inside, she's a demon lusting for the taste of blood. It wasn't until later that she found who her mystery patron was. Now she wonders, uh, wonders what the blood of one so powerful tastes like. My god, what a great backstory. I love the fact that you've uh, repurposed a, a great story for a D&D character into this. I mean, this is all what this is about. D&D is really what inspired me to do this. I've been playing D&D in my own time. And it's what inspired this series, so I really love to hear that. But that is a great backstory by Strafe there. Uh, really adding to the, the succubus feel. Really, uh, really playing on that. And very good backstory indeed. Next up, we have our flagellant Jonathan Baker. And this backstory is by Friendly Shep. Contrary to his name, John was not actually a baker. He worked at a butcher's shop, slaving away to the commands of his egotistical boss. One very unfortunate morning, John walked into his boss's office, only to see his boss and a man in a pure white cloak exchanging illegal goods. Before this, unbeknownst to John, the shop was also integrated with a famous gang of criminals, the White Razors. John saw the cloaked man begin to reach to his belt, and uh, he sprinted out of the doorway. With the man in hot pursuit bursting out of the shop and in to the outside, Jonathan sprinted down the street, spying a weapon stand close by. While running, he snatched a three-ball three flail from the counter and swung the flail around, attempting to drive away his attacker. In a stroke of luck, the man was not expecting it, and the flail crunched straight into his skull. Fe um, feeling him, 
felling him instantly. Um, upon hearing shouts of those who had seen what happened, John ripped the cloak off of the man's body, put it around his own shoulders to hide his face, and ran into the night. Just as the sun was about to come up, John happened upon an old, worn road leading into a forest, with a broken carriage in the trees nearby. Ooh, nice. I really like that. And now he's hurting himself, flagellating for his own sins. And I, I, I like the idea that this guy has been here a while, and he has been maybe manning the penance hall, and and been been heavily involved with the penance hall. I, I like the. I like to think. My take on that story is that's where he's become and that's kind of the role he's fallen into. But yeah, again, that's another brilliant story by Shep there. But yes, we're going to have to build ourselves up a nice little uh, group of people to go on our next adventure. As I said, the last episode we went and fought our first boss. So who knows what we'll do today. Looks like today's adventure is going to be one into the wield. And we are going to be going with Clint as our front damage dealer and also marking... As well, we've got um, Smith and Elise for a little bit of healing, stress relief, and also some repost. Um, we have a newly found Succubus, Chasey. We She's going to be really good for marking targets, which is going to combine really nicely with Clint, but also disabling stress skills, uh, things like that. Then we've also got Sixth in the back line, and he's basically going to be using this here. Bird of Prey mixed with feral cuts and then he'll sometimes be applying either um either spirit of the hunt or this one here adding a block so this is this is going to be a, a nice sort of defense and hopefully this should mean we have a bit of healing uh we've got a bit of stress relief but healing and even even um chasey here has a bit of stress relief as well and we're going to be doing this because we will be get we'll be get getting sorry we'll be getting the book of relaxation less stress more accuracy less dodge that's going to be great for someone that already has low dodge, such as Urku. Um, what we'll do real quick here is let's just take all of our um, non-specific character, um, non-specific character ones off of everyone. Uh, we don't need that one taking off really. Although I will take it off anyways. Um, any that's non-character specific, we'll just take a look through everyone. Make sure we've not got any missing, because we want to be a, uh, giving, swapping over trinkets to people that need them when they need them. Uh, we might as well. I mean, we'll we'll, we'll leave that on you two, because you've got a. Uh... Actually, do you, do you? I don't even think they've got a blight skill, so that's not really that useful for us right now. And we'll trade these over to our characters we're playing as now to make sure we make the most of our adventure. Um, yeah, I want to be swapping these over and trying to remember to do this whenever I can. I think this is going to be the, the the best thing for us. So now let's go over to. So I think Clint, we can we can put. Um, how much dodge do you have? So you already have ten dodge. So that might not be the best for you. Uh, it would be nice to get a bunch of extra accuracy on you, on you though. Um, go for ten percent. Actually, yeah, let's go for ten percent max HP and health. We could also go with this twenty percent stun resist. Okay, let's go with that on you because. Um, Getting the heal on hits really nice, and we're losing the max health, but gaining the max health, so we keep the same max health, and we get the ten percent extra, which is really nice. Um, Smith and Alice, uh, for you, let's have a little look. See, uh, we could go with extra dodge on you and less move resist. Yeah, let's go for let's go for really. Actually, we'll put that on Succubus. Uh, do you do you have anything that's going to be good for you? I don't think these guys are going to be taking much. Uh, we could go with extra damage, but again, I don't think that's going to be super relevant. So we'll leave those for now. Uh, you can... Who's going to take on most of the dodge here? Uh, it should probably be you. I think you're getting quite... Yeah, minus two crit is a little unfortunate for you. Uh, unfortunately, they're sixth. But let's let's go with this. Let's get a bunch of dodge on you. Uh, that's going to be really, really helpful. And then, is there anything that could help you out? Uh... Minus 8 dodge with a lot of extra accuracy and crit. I don't really want to put that on him yet because he's already he's already got a lot of dodge. So I don't want to be taking too much away from him. Mainly we want to be giving this to people that don't already have good dodge. Um, and the, miss the misses the spot kind of makes it not great to add 5 crit. And his accuracy isn't obviously amazing as base but it's not anything crazy either. 
Um, and they're not going to really be hitting. I think we'll just go with that for now. We'll leave we'll leave some people without anything on them because I just don't think we need it as much. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to put this on. I am. We don't. We really don't want to lose these though. But, but let's let's just go with that for now. Let's just go with that for now. Focus ring will be better on someone else later. But this is going to be really good. I like the fact that he has back tracker and tracker. They're uh, they're great for him. Sixth has some of the most appropriate quirks. But that this is going to be our group. I think these guys should work really really well together. Um, let's see how this goes and get right into it. So for our provisions, we're going to want it's a medium adventure. So we're going to want sixteen food. We'll take like. Four shovels. We'll get our torches. 16 torches. Um, Then we'll take like... Two. Two. One. One. And we'll take another anti-venom just in case. I don't think we'll need holy water or laudanum really. And I think this will be a pretty good... Uh, a pretty good group of things to take with us on our medium adventure here. Let's see how this goes. Uh, we do have some uh, diary entries. We have one here from our newly found succubus from Strafe. Well, this adventure seems like it'll be much more interesting than what I thought. At the very least, I have a few meals ahead of myself. Ooh, she's talking about the people she's on her, on her adventure with, so that's that's really interesting. And then we also have um, a diary entry by from the Ermine Seeker Morgana by uh, Friendly Shep. These new members in the assault against the darkest dungeon are quite interesting. I've never seen anything quite like them. I knew magic and the dark arts existed, but I guess I never truly acknowledged it until now. I sometimes consider trying to find some on my own, but each and every other person or thing that uses magic that I see has a telltale spark of regret in their eyes that I knew that I grew very familiar with during my work in the penance hall. I think I'll stick with my whip and knives after all. And that's another great backstory there, talking about the penance hall and Morgana. I think Morgana and um, Jonathan Baker are going to learn to... Uh, going to learn to really respect each other and get to know each other well, considering they have both seen the horrors of the uh, the penance hall. But let's get right into this and uh, see how these guys work together. They should be pretty decent together. We've got to explore 90% of the room, so we, we do have to go backtracking first. Let's see how this goes. Okay, found our first battle already, so that's a, that's a crazy first battle. We got zero damage there, but we did take some bleed, so we always want to go with our bear of prey here. Um... It bypasses stealth. That's not going to be super useful for us yet, but this should be pretty decent. It's going to move us to the front as well. So let's try and take out the back line, because this guy can deal quite a lot of poison and things like that. Um, let's activate our repost here, and we'll buff up our repost damage as well. Uh, get these two set up for now. And uh, should we go for a stun, or should we just try and go for a kill? I suppose we could bring you to the front. That might help. Oh, unfortunately, Clint there with a miss already. Uh, we are marked now as well. Um, we don't have anyone that deals stress here, so let's um, let's do some leeching, shall we? We can we can turn into our other form as Chasey here. But we probably don't want to do that. We can um, stop enemies from cursing us, which is great, and mark targets. Or we can leech their damage and stun mark targets, which is going to be great. Uh, or we can even go back one and force guard by ally, um, which is interesting. I kind of like the idea of that, and that's also stress relief as well. Um, I believe that we can um, that we can apply when we change to our succubus form. We can actually apply that to enemies. So let's do this for now. Uh, we did unfortunately miss on our first target there, but these guys are going to get slightly less damage. But we're going to gain that damage. Until we camp, we gain 9% extra damage. That's going to be great. Another bleed on you with no damage. So we can go with Feral Cuts here. And then move ourselves back. And this is kind of going to be the path that we take with you uh, pretty often here. Um, let's finish you off. Get the get the dog out of the way. We don't want to be taking any rabies right now. And he's going to get a little bit of heal there. And we're probably just going to use this to steal damage. It's going to debuff these guys massively over the course of the battle. Uh, but also it's going to give us a really nice... Um, a really nice chance to buff herself up until camp as well, which is going to be great. We'll go for you. Going to move you forward, and we'll merciless assault you for a kill. There you go. Smith and Alyss doing great stuff here. And I think this is a pretty good group so far. I um, think this should work really well. Let's have a little look-see here. Um, 
So we need to activate repost again. I want to make sure our repost is constantly up here. Um, it's going to be super valuable. And it also marks them, which is a pretty damn valuable thing for us here. Getting a kill there is awesome, but it is going to leave the body. So we probably should try and chop that body down as quick as possible. But let's just, let's just try and kill everything outright before we have to deal with any of that. We don't need to deal with any stress here, so we'll just uh, mark you. Oh, unfortunate that guy reformed. Fights in the wheel do tend to take a little longer because of that. And unfortunately, that guy's been pushed to the back, which is a real shame. Uh, let's try and pull him forward and just kill him. There you go. That's exactly what I wanted. Pull the body forward and get the kill. Um, so this will steal health per turn. Hmm. Okay, one percent damage per ally. I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to play on that yet. Let's just build damage here. Oh, I, I, I've used the wrong damn skill. I think we can only use our um, this one. Yeah, we can only use this one twice per battle. So mainly after we do after we do the main the main um, damage stealing with her, which is a quite a lot to be honest. We're going to be falling back to just marking targets ready for everyone else. Um, just make sure we take you out. We'll take out this body next turn. Pull you back. I think Clint should get a turn next. Uh, okay, let's let's do this. I know this seems like a little bit of a waste, but getting rid of you early is going to be great. And Clint can always take you out if you don't get pushed too far back anyways. Um, ooh. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Um... So actually, yeah, let's let's turn let's turn Succubus form. It's gonna give everyone a bit of stress relief, and we can either scythe, we can apply bleed, which could be good, or we can protect ourselves by forcing guard by enemy. So we'll do that on you. Hopefully that works. Unfortunately, didn't take the stun. Um, but she is going to now be guarded by that ectoplasm, which means any enemy that tries to hit her, especially now that she's marked as well, is actually going to go and hit this guy here, which is really good for us. Um, now, unfortunately, that doesn't prevent, as you saw there, doesn't prevent the, uh, the guarded enemy from attacking herself. And it only lasts for the one turn, I do believe. So it was, that's unfortunately broke the guard. Um, let's take you out. And... Let's cure you up. Nice big heal on you. Um, and then again, go for Feral Cuts. Feral Cuts just really doesn't do too much damage here. But it seems like this is going to be a fairly long battle. Because it's going to be hard for us to... Um, it's going to be hard for us to take you out. Assault. I don't think Metal Assault moves us. It doesn't great. And as you can see, with it having this much health and has not been able to get to the back line, as just happened there, that's kind of what we're dealing with here. This is going to eat away at others' health when we're attacking with our succubus version of Chasey here, so we do have to be aware of that. Do you have much move resist? Uh, you do have a bit of move resist. We'll, we'll abstain from that. And a crit there is going to destroy the body as well, so that's a great, great crit from Clint there. Exactly what we like to see. Uh, and we'll just keep on attacking this big blob in the background. So, like I said, unfortunately, Monsters. we're going to uh, get a little bit of damage on everyone else here. But with you being marked, so easy to take you out, and that's Relatively solved our problem here. Um, let's get a heal on ourselves here. The 12% maximum HP heal isn't too much when we've all, when we've got low health like we do now, but it still helps. Um, we'll pull, pull you back a bit. I think you can only attack backline with that, so that might not be too useful. But getting a big crit there is awesome. And of course, he's going to self-heal a little bit there from that trinket we've got on him. Um, and we'll finish you off with that. And because we ended turn with her, no one took the damage, which is absolutely great. So we'll file you back into uh, into order and see how we get on here. Uh, we have one of these already. We'll go for we'll go for that. Nice bit of extra jewels to, to play with. We definitely want to be getting as much money as we can going forward here. So what I'll probably do is we'll go all the way through through this side, and then as soon as I get to like this room here, I'll camp because we don't know how many battles are going to be here. So I'm glad I brought a bunch of shovels, 100%. I brought four this time because on medium adventures, it can be a pain. Uh, got a nice amount of stuff there. Even got a key as well, which could be useful. I don't think you use the keys too much in the wheel, but um, it's nice to have them in case we do need them. Right, nothing here. Because, oh, another tree. Um, because we need to clear out 90% of rooms, we might as well go all the way to the end of this. 
Of course, it is going to use a lot of our torch. I'm going to try and keep it as high as we can. And our last room, is it going to be combat? It's not combat. I'm not going to go that way simply because it uses a shovel. And there's no need to use a shovel if we if we don't need to. I'm not going to use three shovels on one path when we've got so much further to go with only two left. I'd rather save it for later and hope that we uh, that we don't have to use them. Because if you, have, if you have to use them and come across one of those that you have to go through without a shovel, it causes damage and I think 20 stress to everyone. So that's really, really not, not what we want. Let's move up to here. Um, we've got a curio here. Empty. Got our first battle along this way. Should be a pretty easy battle though. Let's take out the dogs first. We don't want any rabies. Um, yeah, we'll steal the damage again. And take you out. Oh, big crit there from Clint. Clint is just an absolute tank of a damage dealer. And he's de-stressing himself with that heal as well, which is great. Uh, let's activate our repost here. I love buffing up that repost. Getting getting your marks, so hopefully we take a lot of the hits, but also giving us that protection. And a really, really strong repost. Okay, so we're taking a bit of poison here. Looks like you're taking double the poison. We'll probably use some uh, poison relief on you using um, Smith and Alyss. And there is that huge repost there so let's uh let's just go for a hit the big damage dealers um we'll steal some more damage get you dealing less damage get us dealing more more poison um and we're just gonna cure you so that removes that poison but also gives us a nice a nice big heal um i think if i do this that's yeah that should kill him and then we can pull ourselves back and stealth. And as you can see, Sixth just has a really nice format to, to, to how to play. Um, and we could go with a stress relief kill, but I honestly think we just if we just do this, we're going to be in a better position anyways. Ahaha, we both got the dodge there, lovely. That poison isn't going to do too much to us, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to go for the kill. This guy's out the way, and that's another key we just found as well. Interesting. Uh, make sure everyone's reordered. That's going to be something that uh, I want to be doing very often. And if anyone knows of a mod that auto reorders after fighting, that would be very much appreciated. I'd love to see that. We've got some scouting here. Great stuff. So we've got another empty room ahead, which is good. I'm going to do one more room before we camp. Uh, I was planning on camping on this room, but considering we've got 36% damage boost with our succubus so far, I'm thinking it's probably better for us to... Um, keep that damage going as long as possible considering we're not high stress we're not low health camping isn't a priority it just isn't so if we can if we can hold off camping it's i would open that but we can't risk it oh we got a trap there but luckily six he knows these areas he's been around here before he, he managed to dodge that trap quite nicely of course him as a character living in the wield um has experience with the traps, and I'm glad we did, because we've got an uh, obstacle right in front of us. So we'll go and do this battle, and maybe camp after this, depending on how our characters are looking. If everyone's looking okay on stress and health, then maybe we'll be okay. Uh, did we take any holy water? We didn't. Unfortunately, that, that is a shame, because troubling effigies, I believe if you use holy water on them, they do give you the, the ability to gain a positive quirk, uh, which is a shame to miss out on, of course. But at the same time, I'm not too worried about it. We maybe should have just spent a little bit extra money on some provisions, though. And here we've got a relatively easy battle. Let's attack you straight away. Um, let's reduce some stress off you. It's going to force a guard. It's going to increase damage against uh, marks. And we'll activate our repost here. Because that's going to mark us and guard us. Uh, well, and guard Succubus. So that's going to lead to some really, really nice stuff there. Because we're going to get repost whenever it tries. I don't know. If, if they try to hit Succubus and we've got guard on, does, do they still repost? Or do they only repost if they're directly struck? And there you go. Clint just, he, Clint don't give a damn, he just destroys, uh, and there we go, we got another, another one that we need holy water for, maybe we should um, look to bring a little more holy water out with us in the future, because I'm starting to realise it's a little more useful here than I thought, we haven't really got too much loot out of this uh, so far, another surprise there's brilliant, I did forget to reorder here, but that's not the end of the world, because we can just do this. It's not, uh, it's not too too problematic. Um, we'll keep going on this. Everyone got that there. Unfortunately, I think, I think it has the chance to apply stun and it didn't there. Uh, let's just keep attacking this front guy. He does have a bit of protection there. So that is going to make it a little harder. Um, and then we'll 
do this as always. First turn, activating the repose. I love the fact that these guys get two actions. One from the brother and one from the sister. I think that's great. That repose should kill. Oh, not quite, not quite. Two hits on you. Uh, probably the best people to be hit. I know, obviously, they do have... Um, they do have not exactly super high health, but it's definitely helpful. Aim for you, see if we can get you taken out. Um, do this again. Yeah, they did resist the stun, so it does have the chance to stun. We'll finish you off. I think sixth here, we can maybe go for... Um, hmm. Uh, let's, let's do this. Pull you to the front and assault you. There you go. We might we might use um our uh, our sixth here. We might use sixth to to do a bit of buffing up and try and get some healing going. Cause that'd be really useful. We'll strike you. Um, unfortunately, we can only do that from the back line. So let's finish you off actually, and then pull you back because you you do need stealth because we're gonna need to heal you. Um, hmm. Let's just do this again to stress relief, and we'll get you to the back. Although, we can't really do that when he's there, because that means he can't use his eagle ability now. Uh, so let's get some heals on you. Only four. It's not exactly major, but it'll do. Uh, and that is going to reform. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Uh, we've got a few mark targets now. Um, so let's 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 put that on you for now. We'll, we'll start buffing people up a little bit. Um, so now if these guys get a kill... I believe they'll get a pretty big bonus uh, in healing and stress relief. So that's kind of what we want to be aiming for here. I don't know if a post kill will count, but we'll see. Right. Uh, we'll try this out. Just keep on the stress relief. Keep on the guard. It's only for two rounds, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. A big crit on you is great. And healing. Clint really doesn't need any healing of his own. He's doing great. Oh, and sixth here. Sixth could possibly could possibly enter um, enter a pretty bad state here. So let's activate a block on ourselves here. So now we have a repost and a block. Keep striking you. Um, let's mark you. Let's lower your dodge. We'll keep healing up sixth, and that's a big crit there. Lovely, nice to see it. Oh damn, this is getting. It's getting insane. Mark you as well. We're just going to mark everyone for um, the guaranteed stuns and all that. Uh, let's use that to get back and stealth. There we go. That's the mark damage we want to be seeing. Okay, good. Attack Clint. Attacking Clint's fine, honestly. Um, let's keep healing sixth. He really needs it. Because these guys still have the buff where if they kill something, they'll get a big... Heal anyways. Keep attacking you. Mark you. We need to take out this body before anything else, really. And I think that's probably what we'll do. Just stop them from reforming. Because the thing is, as soon as we killed that, oh, I reformed anyways. Okay, we've got a block there. That's good. Not quite a kill. Close enough, though. And these, these uh, slime fights, just they do take forever. Honestly, they really do. Um... I don't know if we have the healing to sustain. Sustain this. Let's just keep marking targets for Clint. And then we can go for guaranteed crits. There you go. 34 crit. Perfect. Spick stress relief. Clint is never stressed. Uh, we'll heal ourselves up here. 5 HP. It'll do. A little bit of damage there. Okay, now we should... I think I think the best idea here is we... Ah, oh, I was hoping that would do, like, one damage and get the kill there. But it's not quite going to. But we'll kill you. That'll be ready for Clint to sort you out. And there we go. We get the kill, heal, and stress heal, which is great. We try and take you out, and that's both of them dead. Lovely. Took a little longer than I was hoping, but that actually worked out in the end. It worked out in the end. Let's have a look what's in here. Okay, we've got some dogs. Rabies could come our way here. Um, these guys tend to inflict rabies and bleed. So we're going to see a lot of that here. We don't have any bandages to really deal with that. Smith and Alyssa at least are going to be able to cure that bleed if need be. We took a crit there, unfortunately. Um, 
There is a good chance we can just one-hit kill. Yeah, there you go. That's exactly what we want to see there. Exactly what we want to see. And we'll go for a heal and a bleed cure, which is great from Smith and the List. Really helping out Sick there. Um, and we'll keep on leeching. Again, it, it makes sure that them guys aren't dealing as much damage to us, even if it is only a bit. Unfortunately, the high dodge is proving problematic right now. Um, we did resist the, uh, the disease there. Ooh, there you go, Clint. Nice crit, nice crit. And he gets his heal as well, and a bit of stress healing too. Always good. Um, then we'll go for our whole feral cuts and move, and then I'll probably apply the... Um, I'll probably apply the healing buff to myself in a moment here. Uh, let's keep healing you up, because you're just... You're really low and you're bleeding. Um, I'm going to go with a mark on you. Good, good, good. I'm going to take a bit of damage. Nope, you're going to dodge. So let's apply that buff to... You can't apply it to yourself, actually. So let's let's apply it to you for now. And see if we can get a kill here. I think if we change form, we can get a kill. Cure that bleed off you. Yeah, we definitely need the healing here. Because we're bleeding as well. So let's change form. And... There you go. Oh wait, it didn't. It didn't ugh, because it was the last kill of battle. It didn't count. I, that that really annoys me. That I really wish it did count. Uh, we will get some deeds though. So that's unfortunate. We're, we're going to be bleeding a little bit here, but I think this is the perfect time for us to uh, to rest our weary heads. So let's head back over to this curio over here. Oh, sh sugar, she's hit death's door. That was dumb. I should I should have known I should have noticed she was gonna hit death's door. That is gonna mean uh, constant debuff for the rest of the uh, the battle. Yeah, I, I could have definitely avoided that just by using campfire and healing her up beforehand. That's my mistake. Um, but unfortunate. Right, let's have a little look. See what we've got here. Um, so sixth has removed disease. He doesn't have any diseases right now, but he can remove diseases, which is, which is great. Uh. I don't think anyone's holding disease right now, are they? But it's going to be good to know that we can bring Six along for camping to remove diseases. Uh, he also has 20% of bleed amount applied, extra damage to big targets. Smith and a list here, extra virtue chance, slight, like, slight stress increase. Extra healing skills if in sister mode. Um, extra stress, less damage, less protection. Uh, kind of a back and forth there. Clint's going to get... Um, Surprise chance and scouting. And we've got extra max HP, less stress. Okay, that's that's interesting. Um, we could definitely go with that. Jealousy, one companion is going to get guard duration, less stress. Okay, uh, we can go with... Ooh, oh my god, one companion ni minus 90% damage. I suppose if you've got a dedicated healer, that makes sense. But because we don't, that's probably not the best idea. And we also have this contract a demon, reduce torchlight. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know what that does. Uh, contracts a demon, reduce torchlight by twenty-five, and one companion suffers twenty percent HP damage. I I am unsure what that is, so we'll leave that for now. Uh, do we have any good healing abilities here? Uh. Yeah, so let's heal you up. It's only a small heal, but that'll do. Um, let's go with... Tracking. Tracking's good. Um, hmm. Kind of a hard one to, to pick here. Unfortunately, we don't have anything that's going to uh, prevent nighttime ambush, so we're probably going to get one of those. Uh, I'm unsure what this does. I, I want to do it, but I think it'll be a boss fight, and I'm scared. She's got like a little demon on her shoulder there, look. Interesting. Um, extra scouting chance is nice. We've got five more left. Let's just go with this for now and make make the brother worse but the sister better and try that out. And then just go for, like, stress relief on you. 
and rest there. It's unfortunate we got Death's Door there. I really could have avoided that. Okay, we do have an ambush. The the party rearrangement isn't particularly bad for us. We'll try and take you out. We can deal with you. Okay, we are going to take a bit of stress here. 21. Um, heal you up. Nice big heal there. Um, I'm going to I'm going to go for this straight away. And I'm going to go for a mark on you. Let's just strike you. Clint can strike from the back line, so that's good. Try and take you out. I know I just guarded her, but that's fine. I'd rather take her out and stop taking stress damage. Mark you. We're a little bit frazzled here, but it's okay. Um, let's cure ourselves. That's good. Nice big cure. And there's a big crit. Lovely. Um, we can't exactly do anything from here. Let's just pull it. We'll try and do the rest with our feral cuts. Okay, we are going to take a bit of damage on everyone here, but at least you're full health. And there you go. Finish it off with feral cuts. That wasn't too problematic there. Wait, do we start to fight the... Oh, it's because we've got one move left. I see. Okay, we've got some holy water there as well. Um, which we can use on this, I guess. Well, we'll use it on our uh, on, on Clint, just in case there's a damage buff. Didn't seem to do anything at all. No idea what that did. Right, we've got everyone rearranged. Um, let's go up this way. What have we got here? Just some heirlooms. That's nice. We do have the uh, less surprise chance on us and increase on the enemy and the extra scouting chance here. So that should be pretty good for us. We should see some results from that, hopefully. In fact, if we could see a secret room from that, that'd be great. Good, we know we're on the right path right now. Don't open that, you fools. God damn it. They're, um, yeah, manic for money. We'll steal items from inventory when given the chance. I don't know what items they steal. But it does look like we're a bit light on things, to be honest. There, there's a very good chance that they've stolen some stuff from us here. Because I don't see as many things in there as, as there should be. 100% feeling a little light. Head down this way. And this should be our last room. We'll open this up, see if there's anything in there. Get a bit of money. Oh, it's just food. We'll heal you up a little bit then. And a dodge. Nice one. I think I think we're getting really lucky just because of Sixth being in the party. He's helping out. We'll continue the adventure and just check out this last room over here, because why not? Oh my god. Definitely worth it. <laughs> so let's keep an eye on the inventory. Do they just steal things straight from the inventory? And if they do, that's sad. And we need to remove that. I don't know what they've done in their past life to, to do that, but it's bad. Right, let's just go for a kill. Oh, Clint, lovely. Brilliant smackdown there. These beds can be rather problematic, but we should be able to deal with them. Let's go for this and just go for a, a kill. Sadly, didn't get the kill. Ha! Eagle versus bird. Got you. Alright, you're going to take one damage. Yeah, I'm going to take parasites. I think parasites mean that you uh, take extra damage until camp. Um, let's just mark you. Get you ready for Clint. We can probably kill you with the feral cuts. Lovely. I love it when feral cuts does that much damage. It's such a fun class to play. I really, really like Sick as a, as a character. We'll mark them both. He just passed his turn. I don't know why. Um, and then let's go for stress relief here. Eight stress relief. That's really good. And for that. Oh, 22. Oh, my God. Okay, this is dead, but it decays, doesn't it? Yeah. I was thinking what happened there. But that's always how that goes. Um, let's just do a little bit more stress relief. Get everyone's stress down before we leave this place. 
one damage. Yeah, that, that damage reduction. Pretty beefy. That's going to lower your dodge a lot. And there you go. They're both dead. Oh my god. We've got some sort of parasite thing here. Crit it already. This thing could be bad, so I'm going to try and just kill it. Sadly, didn't quite kill it. But there you go. Oh, no. Okay, good. It could, good. It died. I was a bit worried there. Really? <laughs> no. I took that stress just before we left the battle. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. But that was, that was a pretty good adventure. We managed to clean up there. Did decent. Um, unfortunately, got reduced maximum HP. We did get this, though. Witch Hater. Um, extra damage and less stress from Eldritch and Human. Um, and 50, minus 50% 50 monster surprised. That's a bit unfortunate. But not too hard to deal with. We should be okay. And we are picking up an apostate. So let's have a little look, see what we've got here in terms of skills. There is a set of skills that is best for the apostate that I want to try and get. So we don't, we unfortunately don't have the ones I want. Um, because there is a stress heal here. Um, let's have a look, see, shall we? This guy kind of plays around with, with low health, which is always interesting. So it looks like this one's the only one with this skill and this skill, which are these two, the main two that I want. Um, so we'll go with that. Stress seal and clear corpses, torch, other enemies, blight. Interesting. Can only hit corpses. I kind of like that. Okay, we'll take, we'll take you. We'll take you on. Um, and did we end up leveling up? Yeah, it seems like we did. Like, we'll make sure to take the trinkets off them as well. Just so we've got them ready for uh, for whoever else. They seem to definitely help. Good, good, good. I think that's all of them, isn't it? Yep. And we'll just... Uh, sort by rarity. There you go. Have a little look what the Nomad Wagon's got going on. Two of the exact same thing. Beautiful. And see what we've been brought in. Yes. Okay, we have some really good classes here. So we have a Dragon Slayer, which I'm super, super tempted to take. But... So Dragon Slayer is really, really good. And I do enjoy playing him quite a lot. Uh, he can be very, very strong. But he is only level 0. Uh, which is a, a bit of a problem. Uh, I definitely, definitely want to take on an Alchemist. Alchemist is really fun. Um, and has some really interesting skills. So he's, he's also a healer. And we could also take on... So the, the, basically the choice is... Do we take on a Cannoneer? Or do we take on a, a, a lower level Dragon Slayer? So, Cannoneer's, um, obviously, going to be using a cannon. Uh, he's a movement, from what I know, he's, he's a pretty movement-heavy guy. Uh, he's got on my mark, minefield. Let's go with the lower-level Dragon Slayer, just because I think he'll be a bit more interesting. And I know that he has healing skills, which is really good. Uh, although... I swear he has a healing skill that isn't here anymore. Maybe he got updated. He used to have a healing skill here called Restoration. Maybe not, but he does have um, he does have Repurst there, which is great. And Guard, Ally, and Repurst there, which are both really, really good. So we'll, we'll go with him. Uh, and let's just take a look at our um, let's just start by level again. Let's just take a little look at the new one we just took on. This guy here. I think he's great. I think he's so good. So, basically, the way the... Um, I'm going to change his outfit, actually. Let's go with this one. Um, he, he starts off with these healing abilities, but they get better and better the more you do with your other skills. So, let's just unequip all of these first and decide on what we want to equip. So, we've got this here, which is a mainly melee skill. Let's go for Decay, which is going to be Blight, uh, and a debuff. Then we've got... Repost, uh, on hit, bleed, and buff self. And he's going to self mark, mark target. That's pretty good. Straight up infusion heal. Uh, and we've got clear corpse, all heroes, heal, seven. Can only hit corpses, though. Uh, that's interesting. Or we could go with one of these two. Because he can summon lab rats or homunculuses, which are interesting. 
Uh, I think I'm going to go for this one first. He's going to be some really good abilities, and he's going to be a really fun healer for us to play with. So now we just picked up two healers and a Dragon Slayer. Uh, like I said, I'm a bit... I don't know what... I, I, like. It must have been changed that the Dragon Slayer doesn't have a healing ability anymore. He used to have an ability called Restoration. Or that did Restoration, should I say. But either way, that's going to be the crew that we are given today. And they're going to be pretty damn useful for us. Well, let's just check out of the people we leveled up today. Is there anyone that's missing out on armor? Um, seems that everyone's at level 2 armor. Who did we just level up? A party member's up here. Uh... These guys are all looking good. Let's just make sure that they are um, their skills are buffed up that need to be buffed up. Uh, this is going to increase the protection. And that's going to increase... That one's not really worth it because it doesn't increase the stress healed. Uh, pull. Extra chance to pull. Uh... Again, that one's not super important because I don't really care about the pull chance. This one we'll go for, though. We'll make sure that's upgraded. Um, of course, you're fully upgraded. Sixth year. Uh, that's going to increase the damage buff and crit buff. So we'll go with that, too. And yeah, I think that's going to be pretty fun. But yes, hopefully uh, you guys have some good ideas for them. I know that the Apostate already has a story pretty much in waiting. Our Dragon Slayer already has a story. And actually our Alchemist already has a story as well from what I remember. So that's going to be great. I'm um, going to be getting into those in the next one. Please make sure to leave any diary entries that you have ideas for coming up for future episodes. The ones today have been great. And speaking of diary entries, actually, before we leave off, we do have one more written by me for Artemis the Lamia. Um, from the last battle when they went up against the boss. Urku seems like a savage brute, but he protected me on more than one occasion against those ghastly skeletons. He would scream and rage and yell constantly as we made our way through the ruins. I can tell that he has some inner demons. But even through his rage and terror, he mumbled what I thought to be a thank you as I patched, his, patched up his wounds in battle. He'd be a useful brute. I look to party with him more in the future. And that's just... Um, that, that, that's kind of me trying to trying to build up on Artemis's story. Uh, DB Fan is the writer of Artemis's backstory, but I wanted to build up a little bit onto her selfish ways and kind of slowly but surely integrate her into the group and her, at least let her start to pick some favourites and things. Either way, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.